Hey, welcome back to Dan's Chess Lounge, everyone. So the St. Louis Chess Club is hosting the Champions Showdown, and it's five matches uh, with superb and top-notch GMs uh, going against each other. And one of the matches is featuring Harry Krishna versus Fabiano Caruana. And as you guys know, I'm a big-time fan of Fabi, especially after his performance at the World Championship where he went toe-to-toe -to -toe against Magnus Carlsen. So I decided to go ahead and bring you guys a game. Uh, Harry Krishna was white. Fabi was black. C4, this is the English opening. E5, this is the most aggressive way to respond to the English. Uh, the English, you strike out on the wing. So it's good to counter in the center. D3, knight f6. Knight f3, this hits the undefended e pawn. So black defends it with knight c6. G3, this is your typical plan in the English. White likes to fee and kettle the light square bishop. And then we'll play along this way here on the long diagonal. D5, c takes d, and knight takes. And here, this looks like uh, a reverse Sicilian dragon, whereas uh, usually you get this position as black. But white's playing it here, and white is going to utilize this semi-open C file. He's going to swing his, his uh, queenside rook over to C1, usually, and play along the semi-open C file. And then he's going to, again, use his light square bishop to play along the long diagonal. And uh, usually uh, black will play along uh, either the middle or the king side. Uh, black has a lot of options here. If black castles king side, then he could play along the queen side as well. So it's still flexible uh, depending on uh, what each side does. Bishop g2, bishop e7. So both players are uh, developing their pieces. Uh, the knight comes out in castles. So right here you have bishop d2 and both players are almost fully developed at this point. Uh, they just need to develop their queens and then they'll be fully developed. So the opening phase of the game is ending and now they're going into the uh, middle game. So they'll have to uh, execute their middle game plan. Looks like for Fabi he's deciding to play on the queen side so he goes ahead and gets some queen side expansion with a5. Uh, knight takes, bishop takes. Bishop c3, you have both the knight and the bishop on the e pawn there. So Fabi shores that up with queen d6, queen a4, rook f e8. This is uh, get preparing to protect the pawn with the rook and maybe move the bishop back to f8. Rook f d1, this is a good move here. Uh, where the rook is actually indirectly hitting the queen right now. The pawn's there now, but white wants to play in the middle. He wants to open up this d file, and uh, then the rook will be hitting the queen. Bishop f8, e4, hits the bishop. Bishop moves up the way, and there we go. d4, white is executing his plan of playing in the middle. e takes d, knight takes. So you have some... Some minor pieces exchanged off here. Queen b4, Fabi offers a queen trade. And he's going to uh, take his chances with the three versus two pawns here on the queen side. Harry Krishna de uh, declines that. Hits the pawn, c6, a3. Queen drops back to b5. And now Fabi offers the trade again. Harry Krishna declines again. Now you have Rick A D8. And right here at Queen E3, I'm going to pause the video. Uh, Fabi plays a spectacular move right here. And uh, go ahead and pause the video and see if you can come up with a winning move that wins right on the spot for Fabi for black. Okay, I hope you guys found the correct move. And the best move in this situation is C5. Yes. Harry Krishna actually resigned right here, right on the spot. 
because there's no way to avoid losing major material here. So c5 hits the bishop here on d4. So if the bishop moves, then you have two attackers. You have the rook here and the queen all on the rook on d1. So there's no way. So let's go ahead and play a few moves just to see what would happen. There's a couple alternatives. Uh, let's see here. You could play rook d3, but that doesn't work because then black just captures the bishop right away. C captures bishop, which hits the queen. So after white captures the queen, then you capture the queen back. And then you grab the pawn, but you've lost the bishop. So that doesn't work. And then let's try another possibility then. If you play queen captures queen, then black just plays queen captures queen. And now you're still faced with the same dilemma. You've got the bishop attacking the rook. And you also have the pawn here still attacking the bishop. So again, once the bishop moves out the way, you're going to have the rook on d8 and the bishop still attacking the rook on d1. So there's no way to avoid a major loss here. So that's why Harry Krishna went ahead and resigned. So that was a fun game to look at, a good short game. I want to give you guys that. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, comment, and please subscribe to the channel. See you guys next time. Thank you.